and now we have about 50,000. Okay. So it had to do with the industrial development. It's actually a new town. Right. But the problem with new towns is they are planned and have no identity from our, from themselves. So right. whenever you look around, what's the identity of this place? It could have been anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. It has nothing historical. Mm -hmm. And that is a problem because it doesn't give quality to the public space. Right. People don't feel attached to this place. You live in Drachten, what a horrible place to live. And that now is actually the problem, and mm -hmm. it's all engineered. Right. Because it looks very technocratic. For instance, on this place, here were traffic lights. I mean, you can all, I have old pictures of it. They were all poles and signs and black and white. Yeah. And it was always an enormous queue of traffic. Often you had to buy a double ticket in the parking garage before you could leave it. Wow. And the only solution I could find as a traffic engineer is a roundabout. But I already explained to you. Right. Spatial, I hate it. I wanted a square, but with a square I can't cope with 22,000 cars a day. Right. That I had a problem, and what we now made is a square, and there all are fountains, so normally there's always water springing up from the floor. You said there were 70 fountains around? Yeah, something like that. Wow. And what's now so interesting is because this roundabout has suddenly got a context, it is part of human world. It's a bicycle square, or a walking square, which you also find in Copenhagen. And what you now see, you saw someone greeting each other. Mm -hmm. You see people interact again. Mm -hmm. And with that interaction, you see that the traffic flow is much more organic. It is right. a continuous flow of traffic. And whenever you see someone on a bicycle, mm -hmm. they never stop. Even for bicycles, even though they cross with 22,000 cars, right. because the speed is at the same level or equal, and it goes very organically, automatically. And there is a continuous interaction on eye contact. Right. Would cross the street without watching what happens. They right. would stop them. That was my interesting what's happened. You touch a bicycle, pick him out, and what's mm -hmm. going on? He's putting out his hand. You never see it in Holland. Again. Right. But suddenly, with his hand, he is interacting and communicating with the world around him. Exactly. Because it's his own advantage. I fetch my coat. And you watch the traffic, mm -hmm. okay? Good. Yeah.